we'll be focusing on Africa as our first story is about um, a former car firm president, um, Ahmad Ahmad, saying that um, FIFA is controlling CAF. I'll we'll also be looking at um, transgender in sport. I'm sure a lot of people don't know that some African nations are either thinking of whether they should permit transgender in sport. And lastly, we'll also be looking at uh, Morocco as joined the bid to host the 2030 World Cup, joining Spain in that um in in that bid but i won't be doing this alone i have um a very veteran um sport uh, entrepreneur someone that um, has done so well when it comes to sport that's talking about joachim idada it's good to have you on the show Muda, it's nice being here with you once again um looking at these topics that we're going to look at uh, is, is, is it is it something new to you that um, i'm mad i'm mad in an interview with um, some international tabloids, said that um, FIFA is in control of um, of CAF. What what does that mean to you? If FIFA does not control CAF, the FIFA does not know its onion. But uh, we're looking at balances, check of balances, and independence of um, ethic, independence of all of them. They are confederation. So FIFA controlling CAF means that um, they are not that doing. Um, over stepping that boundary, what will we control in terms of every affair that FIFA does that um, CAF is, uh, every affair that FIFA um, CAF does that FIFA is in control of? It? Muda, you should realize one thing that FIFA is a cartel. Hmm. Whether we like it or not, FIFA is a cartel. FIFA is a cartel. You can compare FIFA to OPEC. The activities of FIFA determines the, the price and value we give to football. So you don't expect FIFA to not micromanage football. They are micromanaging football in such a way that at the end of every year, or over periods, over years, that um, football will retain its popularity. And because it's retaining its popularity, it will retain its value. How do you determine the value of anything? It is what? Demand and supply. Demand and supply, that is how you maintain, the. that's how you determine the value of a product. If the demand for the product is more than the supply, guess what happens to the product? Mm. The value of the product goes up. If the supply is more than demand, guess what? The value of the product drops, like in the price. So there is no way FIFA will not have an interest in what is happening in African football. Because remember one thing, that... Most of the money that FIFA is deploying to develop football all over the world comes from where? It comes from Europe. We don't have the big brands. We don't have the big companies. We don't have the, in Africa, we don't have the financial capacity to, to be a big player when it comes to, to football in its commercial sense. So what do you expect FIFA to do? So FIFA has to micromanage the process to maintain football at the level it is right now. But we're also looking at um, the area of um, transparency, the area of um, ethnicity, in, in, no, in the area of um, the, the very fact that um, there should be level of separation of power, even as much as FIFA controls um, CAF, but CAF should have its own power because um, Ahmad Ahmad coming to say this means that every decision that CAF is saying that um, FIFA is in control, and that is why they have to employ um, Samura to come and take a um, position there. But, but beyond that, don't you think there should be a level of, um, uh, um, of independency CAF should have, regardless of the fact that um, FIFA is the world governing body? We will that we must see. The practice and the book are two different things. Mm. Any day, anywhere, is that, look, the money or whatsoever interest that CAF has in FIFA is because of the resources FIFA gives CAF. And the resources FIFA gives CAF, where does it come from? Where does it come from? So whether we like it or not, FIFA will have a party interest in African football. Let us also look at it from this angle. European football, you, what is happening in the European continent, determines the demand for the sport, whether we like it or not. Football as um, football as a game or as 
<laughs> see, as an equipment, a soccer ball, as an equi equipment, it means nothing. Go around, you just, just run around, small children kick around. No, when you talk about the sport, when you talk about the sport, it's a different kettle of fish. And because it's a different kettle of fish, the people who, the, who, are, who are responsible for, for financing the promotion, the development, the attractiveness of the sport, which is FIFA and its partners. Mm -hmm. You don't expect them to just close their eyes to what is happening in the African co continent. Let me explain to you. If African football develops to become like European football, if we have a product like the EPL in Africa, what will happen to the EPL of Europe? Mm -hmm. That is why, remember the last time I came, I did tell you, that one of the things that the, the, the Minister of Sports in Nigeria should do is that this, this so-called, if I call it, over-Europeanization of our broadcast, sports broadcast in Africa and especially in Nigeria is totally unacceptable. It's totally unacceptable where we will not show Nigerian sports on Nigerian television, we will not show uh, uh, Nigerian games, we will not even put Nigerian games on the betting platforms. Mm -hmm. We rather go and put European games on. Why then do you think FIFA will not have the kind of influence they are having in African, uh, in the African continent? Do what you said? Do you think we can actually survive if um, the sport minister or there's a policy that says that they should allow um, the indigenous sports? Everywhere, don't you think we we're going to suffer for it? We will are not we, suffer. Or are we ripe enough for, for such? Why, why, why are we not ripe enough? I've lived in America. You have, if you go to America, you hardly see the way we the way the way the way we yearn, the way we consume foreign products in every aspect of our life. Go to America; they don't do the same thing. In American sports, if an American is not played a major role in any sport, I can promise you. You will not see that sport on television. Mm -hmm. You will even see people gravitate toward the sport. You will see people gravitate. In the 70s, how many people cares about what is happening in the EPL? How many people care? In what, today, what do we have? All the digital satellite television stations we have in Nigeria. They are sharing foreign content. Uh, what's the name? Uh, OTT. Uh, OTT mm -hmm. That you can watch. Later, OTT is... Content is brought over those your mobile phones and see you you, are, you have access to for all this foreign content. What then do you think you are doing? You are indirectly telling them. You are indirectly inviting them to come and take control of even your local sports. But right now I can tell you, if there is a control, there must be a control. So what's the implication? Sorry, what's the implication of um, this control that FIFA is having over CAF? What do you think is a negative implication of such? Because Ahmad also said that um, that he, um, FIFA has a hand in um, positioning who is going to be the CAF president, so that everything in the confederation can go the way of FIFA. What's the implication FIFA of that? FIFA is ensuring that its product continues to sell in Africa. That's the beginning. And the end. Hmm. It's a showing that it's product. It's product is football. And that's putting aside uh, yes. African product. Yes. Uh, that's what they are doing because at the end of the day, they are, they are the ones financing some of most of the things that is going on. That is the truth. So then, if we want, if we want to begin to to play the, you can say he that plays the pipe, he takes the tune. If we want to begin to play the pipe, then straight, then we must begin to do what is right. Mm. If all of a sudden FIFA realizes that some of the brands, products, or some of the events they are promoting is not getting the kind of traction that they are getting from Africa because the Africans are making a demand that they want, they are, they want, they want to be the one responsible for what is happening in Africa, FIFA will sit up. Is, is, that, is that the reason why FIFA said they don't want government interference because of that control over football? Yes, of course, because there will be conflict. You can't have two, boss, two captains in a ship. You can't have two captains in a ship. The government in one hand is saying, oh, what are you doing? We are the ones putting down the money. But how much are they putting down? They're just putting lip service 
to whatsoever that is going to do. Only, the only thing that the government has to their benefit is what? They have the, the, um, they determine the policy, the, the sporting policy in Africa. But outside that, what do they do? They do nothing. So we need to, we, we need to, I, I, let me not use the word the market FIFA. Hmm. No, we don't need to demarket FIFA. But what we need to do is we need to protect our own turf. We need to protect our own our own products. Mm -hmm. When you go to U if you even go to UK, you can hardly see one TV station mm -hmm. show all the Premiership matches. It's not possible. FA Cup goes to somebody else. Uh, Premiership goes to somebody else like that. They know what they are doing. So why is it in Nigeria? Nigeria FA Cup, the oldest football cup in in, in Nigeria. We don't see it on television. Definitely. Don't. So then, when how if you can't if you don't see Nigeria FA Cup on television, then what mount? Let me use that word. What upon what authority are you going to sit down and say you want to start to challenge FIFA or challenge anybody who wants to come and start dictating to you that you do not know what you are doing? But if they see that we don't show British FA, we don't show their FA Cup, we don't show. Uh, the, the Spanish Cup, all of them, if they see that we don't show those same products on the African continent, we could, and we demand that what we want to watch here, you understand, is local. Ask. you see whether FIFA will say, okay, these people are, get, are, are beginning to get their arthritis. We need to protect our ground. FIFA is protecting its ground. We need to protect our ground. And why we cannot protect our ground is because of, let me call it, funding issues. Mm. Many people in Africa, they don't, they don't want to fund their sports. They want foreigners to come and fund their sports for them. And when the foreigners come to fund their sports for them, after bringing in the money, they don't want to sit on it. It doesn't work. FIFA that gives you the money will also want somebody that will put an eye on the money. So what, what, should, what should CAF do? Because this had to have been there for a very long time before we had Amada Man, before we have the present um, um, president. So what, what should FIFA CAF do? Um, to ensure, or is it, is it is it also the same way? I, I don't we don't have so much report on that, but is it also the same way that FIFA is controlling other blocks like other confederation, yes. the Europeans, um, others, the, the the Asians, and also the 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 other part of um, the world, the other confederation that are also part of. Is that the same way you think FIFA is controlling them? FIFA has only one product, and the product is what football. football. So. Anything that will demarket football, FIFA will not allow it to stand. So as far as they are concerned, they are not getting the big box from Africa. So Africa is a little player. Mm. And because Africa is a little player in the, in the global uh, football architecture, then it automatically means that to a great extent, you know what, we are going to be part of the consumers. Hmm. And since we continue co to consume football, we are not producing football. We are only consuming football. We will witness this kind of issue that FIFA is in. Till we begin to produce football. It's not just producing players. <laughs> what stars. we are doing today is that we you are, are producing, producing players. players. No, we should go beyond producing players to producing football yeah. as content. So all of these EPL... Call an, an average African. They will tell you all the players in Arsenal, in Chelsea, in all of those, even in some, some foreign national team. Come to, come to African continent. You go and tell them about our so-called national team. Many of our players, will, uh, uh, the, the fans don't know them. And you now expect FIFA to now turn a blind eye. FIFA, they are not silly. They know what they are doing. That Africa has continuously, in every aspect of human endeavor, Africa is what? It's a consumer. Hmm. And FIFA, one of the things that has helped, that FIFA has keyed into that, since we are comfortable consuming and consuming and consuming, they will help us to consume. They will hold us down there and we'll continue consuming. We'll continue paying big money. I think the, yeah, the only also aspect, and um, before we go to the next topic, is the fact that we see FIFA giving money um, to incentive to African nations, but FIFA don't ensure the implementation of such. And I, I think it's something FIFA should take a further step when it comes to control, if they actually want to do it with good intention, is 
from opinions and report is that beyond giving them worker bonuses, participation fee, and all that in any FIFA organized tournament, or in supporting football in this in Africa, they should go beyond just giving up money. They should see the implementation of such um, or the blueprint of the money in the proper usage. FIFA is giving the money not because of any particular reason. It's to, 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 to maintain that stature of football that is a global sport. That is to bring Africa in, in the form of participation, not in the form of producing the football content we are talking about. Mm. They are just bringing Africa in, so it's a global sport. Have you watched, don't you watch uh, American uh, what is it, soccer? Mm. Not even soccer. They call their uh, they call it uh, World Series. Okay. Only American teams playing. Only American teams. The America calls, they call it World Series. People ask, what is world in that series? Where only American teams come to play. Yeah. Enough, enough on on that. Um, time enough.